Look at that. Look at how pretty that looks. It looks pretty already. And sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need. Hi, foodies. Welcome back to the channel. So, in this video, I'm showing you guys how to ferment your onions. You can ferment onions. You can just put them in your plate. Believe me, you they will taste absolutely amazing. So, we have two cups of water here, one and a half tablespoon of sea salt, or you can use kosher salt, but never table salt, okay? So, we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna mix this up until it dissolves. So, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up until it fully dissolves. And then now we are going to cut our onions. So for easy access, do not cut them too um, in cubes. Cut them into um, slices like this. These are more like half slices. And you can cut them as finely or as thick as you like. No problem there. So we cut these up. And then I'm gonna put this and so my recycled black cat jar so you don't need to buy mason jars each and every single time whatever kind of glass jar that you have you can use so i'm gonna just fill this up first before i add the water there we go and i'm gonna cut this one up as well and i'll come back once i fill this up all right now i have filled this up and I've left a little bit of space there so that it ferments properly. And I'm using some peppercorns here. Put that in there. Um, and I'm going to add some water. That water that we made in the beginning. Look at that. Look at how pretty that looks. It looks pretty already. I used only um, one and a half of the onions i'm sorry guys my voice is really bad i have to but you know work is work it's gotta go on so i'm gonna use a tomato as a wear you need something to put in here so that all of these onions don't show up okay so you're gonna put this tomato like this Whoop. oh i overfilled it i did i'm just gonna take out excess water there yeah that happens <laughs> and I want to just push that in there and push all of the onions to take out these little pieces you see this is why you shouldn't dice them because now they are uncontrollable <laughs> there we go this is your way once this is fermented after three days you discard this tomato because it will be your way they are professional like equipments that you use as a weighing thing but Really, you don't need to spend much money on this if you don't have any. So, just use a tomato. Put it in there. It's much cheaper. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm going to close this up. We're closing this up. We're letting this ferment for three whole days. After three days, I'm going to come back and show you guys how it looks. Right now, I'm just going to leave this for three days and... You guys can enjoy it put it in your fridge after three days and start enjoying it and it can last in your fridge for over a month ours usually last a week <laughs> so i'm telling you it's really good thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you guys on another video bye bye